Hey guys, MTash here, and I wanted to give you one of my biggest tips for Monster Hunter. Don't be greedy. Don't be a greedy little shit. Because it's gonna get you killed. In Monster Hunter, you will be punished over and over and over again for being greedy. If you've never played a Dark Souls game or a Monster Hunter game before, your thought process is probably, I want to attack that thing and I want to kill it! But guess what there, Cletus? That's stupid. Because when you're caught up in an attack animation, you can't really dodge. When you're stuck in a windup, you can't really avoid that lightning bolt that's about to strike your penis. So you need to be smart about it. You seriously need to go in when there's an opening and take advantage of it quickly and don't stay around too long. In a fight like this, you honestly can only hit this stupid, idiotic unicorn one or two times before it's time to dip. Time to dodge or else that electric bolt would have hit me and almost killed me. This fight is the absolute perfect example of why you need to be patient and not get greedy in a fight. Because while you might want to load up a super amped elemental discharge on your enemy, it's going to get you killed, it's going to get you knocked over, it's going to get you stunned, it's going to do a multitude of things that equal you dying and the enemy staying alive. Because if you are dying, you can't beat the mission. If you're stunned, you can't attack. There's all these different things that are going to be slowing down the amount of time it takes to complete the mission. Now, if you're playing slow like this, you're getting in one hit at a time, it can feel tedious, it can feel quite boring, it can feel quite slow. But I assure you, if you're always on your ass trying to heal, the time it takes to finish this quest is going to be much longer than taking your time wailing on this stupid ugly unicorn. I know, it's counterintuitive. You want to do as much damage as possible, but it's actually going to slow you down by being greedy and trying to do as much damage as you can because you're going to be going back, you're going to be, uh, you know, re-eating food. All these different things are going to come into play that are going to slow you down. So, my advice to you is don't be greedy. Don't be, uh, you know, complacent. Don't try to go for that huge wind-up when you're fighting an enemy that can one-shot you because one miss, one small mistake is going to equal you dying. Now, obviously, it's important to take advantage of opportunities and windows and do as much damage as you can, but even in a situation like this where I've got him down on his belly, the second I realize he's a threat, you have to back off. Because that charge would have hit me, and then who knows, maybe it stuns me, and then who knows, maybe he counters into another attack, and I get absolutely murdered. But you have to think, what is his next move? Most likely, after he gets up, he's going to attack me. He's going to, um, you know, throw down a fireball if it's a Rathalos. Maybe you're fighting Odegaron, and he's going to give that bleeding attack, that really quick jump on you, and there's going to be no time to react if you're right up on top of him in the middle of an animation. And then, all the momentum you had while doing damage is taken away because you got to crouch in a corner bleeding your dick off! And, uh, it's just gonna slow you down. <laughs> so, don't be greedy. I think, I think I've said don't be greedy about 50 times, but I'm trying to just kind of, you know, waste as much time as possible so that you can see me play it down two mega barrel bombs and just fuck this stupid unicorn up! Come on! Let's just do it! Get ready. The boom is coming. M tashed. Throwing down double barrel bomb. Look at this big bad boy. Okay, turn around. Hey, turn around. No, no! Turn around! Yeah, there, yeah, no, yeah. One, two, three. Kablooey! Don't be greedy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye bye.